Hey guys, James. So, you know, one of the great things about going through the IA Path Mentorship Program, whichever path you take, is the mentorship. It's the mentoring by not only Chris Stanley on the auto side, Matt Allen on the property side. You've got people like Brad Fancher who is on staff, but he's still writing claims like I do. And he puts together a, a monthly phone call called a checkpoint where you know, we go in there and we talk about what we're doing, um, what our successes have been, what our failures have been, and, and we build each other up and we help each other with issues that we're dealing with as we have started this new career and as we're guiding, you know, trying to find our way through it, so to speak. And and it's a great thing. It's it's just one of the the fantastic things about getting involved with IA Path and and becoming part of this community and and as you're building this new career and this new business. So what last night, one of the things that came up was how do, how do we organize our daily life, uh, our claims, our scheduling, keep track of our claims and, and, you know, just how do we handle things on a daily basis? And of course, right now, one of the things that Chris Stanley is working on is Ava. Ava is a virtual assistant. It's going to be like the Siri of claims where you just, drop your your claims in there it, it, it you drop your assignment sheets in it reads it it helps you organize it helps you route and then you you progress your claims across the board until you've finished with them and you know, that's something that's going to help everybody and and that's kind of what we're going to talk about today and that's what was the topic last night during our checkpoint meeting i want to pick on brad fancher for a little bit brad fancher has a system that works for him okay um, and it's a pretty good system. It's it's what you see a lot of property guys do. He has a folder, uh, and on that folder he writes when he's contacted people, you know where it's at. You know he's he's got it. Everything's organized on that folder. He also has color coded folders by where he received it from, the IA firm that he received the uh, the file from. And it's kind of funny. It's got a, it's got a hierarchy to who gets what color, and it's kind of funny. But we won't go into that. So that's what he does. And he also has a, a, a daily planner like sheet um, and it's got the day it's got, you know, starts off at like 7 a.m. and there's 30 minute increments and that's where he puts in his appointments and his notes and his addresses and everything else. And that's what works for Brad. But that ain't me. OK, uh, that's just too much paper for me. That's that's just keeping track of paper that I don't need to keep track of. Um, honestly, I don't even print assignment sheets. It just, to me, it's just not necessary. Um, I believe there's two types of people in this world, people that have technology and people that use it. Now, there's many different reasons why people don't use technology, and I'm not trying to pick on them, and I'm not trying to say it's bad, and that my way is the best way. It's just what I do. And that's why I'm just really stoked about Ava, whenever Ava comes along and we get that online. And beta testing has been fun so far. I've been able to give feedback. It's been a great thing to be a part of. It, and so I'm looking forward to that. What I do on a daily basis and what I'm doing now is I wait till the end of the day as the claims come in throughout the day and, and the new jobs come in. I sit down at once. I open up my calendar. I have Google Maps open. I get an idea where all my claims are. I look at each one of them um, and, and I know where they're at. And then I start making phone calls. And... As I make those phone calls, I make those appointments. As I finish my appointment, making that appointment, I hang up with a person. I simply say, hey Siri, I need to set an appointment for Friday morning at 9 a.m. with Oscar Jimenez at 1735 Wyndham Drive, Wiley, Texas. Your appointment with Oscar Jimenez is located in 1735 Wyndham Drive, Wiley. TX is for Friday from nine o'clock to 10 o'clock. Ready to schedule it? Yes. Your appointment with Oscar Jimenez is scheduled for Friday from 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock. Bam, I'm done. I'm done. So now what happens is on Friday morning, I'm out running my claims. All I do is I open up my calendar. I go to the first one on my calendar. I open it up. The address is there. I click the address. It pops up the address. I have Apple Play on my car. Uh, I just plug it in and boom, it pops up on the screen and I drive there. I finish with that appointment. I open up my calendar. There's the next one. I drive there. That's how I organize it. But James, 
How do you know what you're looking at? How do you know what you're doing? This is a phone. It's got the internet on it. Okay, you have multiple ways of doing it. Number one is every company out there has a dashboard that you log into. I have a browser on my phone. I simply log into the dashboard, and I and all my everything I need to know about the claim is there. I take my photos. I can even attach the photos with my phone if that's the route that I'm going. I can do everything with my phone in the field that I need to do. The only thing I can't do with my phone is I simply can't write the claim. So now. You know, I'm Mr. Redundancy. We've talked about this before. One of the things that happens to... So what if I lost my phone? What do I do? Well, guess what? Remember, I told you I have a second phone. Okay? There's my two phones. Okay? I can pick up the other phone. I can still go keep doing what I need to do. Um, if I lost my laptop, okay, and all I had was my phone, I could take my phone. I could sit there at my desk at home. Because remember, everything's cloud-based these days. So even your estimating software, if you're using CCC... I can, I have my laptop that I can use in the field, but I also have a desktop, and that desktop also has my CCC software on it. I just simply log in, and I get all my information off there, and I can work my claims. So I can leave the house with just my phone. I can go out and scope everything if I need to. I, I'm trying to write more stuff in the field, but if, let's say I just went out and I scoped everything in the field, I can do it all with my phone, and I can come home, sit down at my desktop, and I can write all my claims, okay? It, it eliminates my need when I'm doing dailies to actually have to have a laptop. Now, is it efficient not to have a laptop with you in the field? No, it's not, because you will have downtime that you can stop and do a quick supplement. Um, you will have simple claims that you can write at the vehicle, and, and you need to take advantage of that, especially when you're giving yourself two hours. I give myself two hours in inspection, so I, I, my appointments go from 8, 10, 12, to 4, okay? And then I squeeze whatever else I can in there. Every two hours, I have a claim, and sometimes it's faster than that if the claims are together and they're closer together, but I give myself two hours to go inspect, write the claim, and drive to the next claim, okay? I still knock out five-plus claims a day on my busy days. Uh, I'll just move them together. Most of the days, I could actually do an hour between claims. I'm pretty good at that, but that's what I kind of give myself. That's kind of the rule that I use, but again... I can move things up. You just call people, hey, if I'm if I get done earlier, can I come by earlier? And you just kind of set the tone for that, that there's a good chance that you're going to be there earlier. But you bake in that time so you can do supplements between claims, between inspections. You can write easy claims. Uh, just give that give yourself time. Honestly, I don't give myself two hours. It's more like about an hour and a half between claims is really what I give myself. So that's what I do. That's what works for me. Okay, I'm not saying anybody else's system is bad. I'm not saying that uh, you shouldn't do like what Brad does. I'm just saying that that's what works for me. All right. So just remember that there's people that have technology. There's those that use it. I use technology. You may be a more tangible person that you have to have that folder. That's great. Do what works for you. Just giving you some ideas out there. Guys, if you need to reach me, you know how to find me. It's james at iepath.com. Do me a favor, subscribe to my channel. Like this video. I'll keep making more. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Adios. Bye.